process of regenerating my stem cell research. And it's all going to occur down in Madison, Wisconsin, where I intend to make a personal appearance about the manner in which I intend to do this. I want you to join me in the idea that there's a prospect about what I intend to do, mostly in regard to the physical regeneration that we intend to demonstrate as a possibility within the idea of what we intend to do. So this is going to be about how I appear to you as a regenerative organ in the organic idea of the possibility that I can actually do it. Listen with me just a little bit. Okay, here I am. Yes, here I was in this old cemetery, this old place that I intended to come to demonstrate to you some of the reading capacity. It's important that you remember that the time that it takes to regenerate my stem cell can actually only be right here and now. But I want you to listen to me just a little bit about how this is going to work. This is called A Course in the Miracle of the Conversion of My Physical Stem Cell Idea. Will you listen with me? Listen. Come and see with me here in Stem Cell if the religion of your nature and the philosophy of your being can be integrated through the science of your mind into the brilliantly fearless new reality that is your evolutionary destiny. Stem cells raise a prospect of regenerating failing body parts and curing diseases that have so far defied drug-based treatment. Patients are buoyed by reports of the cell's near-miraculous properties, but many of the more publicized scientific studies have subsequently been refuted. You listen with me. Provocative and conflicting claims have left the public and most scientists confused as to whether stem cell treatments are even medically feasible. If legal and funding restrictions in the United States and other countries were lifted immediately, could doctors start treating patients with stem cells the next day? Probably not. And this is why I intend to offer them a new research here at Madison. Many technical obstacles must be overcome an unanswered question resolved before stem cells can be safely utilized in their entirety. And I intend to utilize them in their entirety. And I intend to offer evidence of the regeneration possibility of your stem cell research in which you ask me if I would come here with you. All right, here we go now in Madison, and I see that you're gathered here with me in this idea of the possibility that I stood there, and here I am, and I'm going to show you a shot of this while I read just a little bit, and you'll notice that I am not denying the prospects that standing here with me, shall I teach? Okay. Standing here with me is my great-grandpa. Listen with me. You remember, it's impossible that anything that is happening to you is but by accident, and that includes me standing right here. You may very simply say, this is the time I choose to awaken, and it will be true, and it will always have been true. Here are the teachers here in this scientific idea of stem cell regeneration. 
that you have chosen to assist and accelerate the necessary confrontation of your own objective self-identity in the whole eternal, perfectly creating universal mind that surrounds you so that you may undergo your inevitable experience of resurrection and enlightenment. Here's what you've been afraid of, and this is why you're a little nervous about experimenting with the idea of embryonic stem cells. This is your possessive fear in your own illumination of the body form, which I'm going to demonstrate. You are returning to God mind through the memory of your transformation from a temporal being to the reality of eternal life. So right here and right now is the time for your passage, and we use the term death, from death to life. Are you ready? Behold. I'm going to show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye, we're going to be changed in the idea of the stem cell. Now, I'm back with you just for a moment because we're doing this in the advantage of coming over to, oh, over in here where we gathered just for a moment, all of us together, in order to illuminate the possibility that you would want to look with me at the idea of this. This is going to be about stem cells, and it's going to be about your capacity to organize a healing process. They call me a teacher. I'm a teacher in my certainty that as I am here in Wisconsin, as I'm here in this advocation of the idea of stem cell, I want to show you the provocative possibility of the healing that can actually occur in the idea of the stem cell research. And it's what's going on right now, isn't it? And we're going to share it together here, along with uh, my great grandpa. Listen. Listen just for another minute about how we all gathered here right, at the idea of a cemetery of death to recognize our capacity to rise up from the grave. Listen with me. Listen. Here you are. Come then and be free of this burden of fear and self-doubt that you thought was a necessary and inescapable part of your existence. Come and free yourself that the world may be free. Come now, you who are heavily laden, we invite you to experience the incomparable healing energy of the love emanating from this ever-expanding circle of light in which we're recognizing ourselves. This is the place, and this is the time, and this is going to be what the stem cell challenge will be about. So you listen with me. We'll talk for just a little bit about the possibility of the regeneration of your individual stem cell idea, where just a moment ago, you appeared as a deteriorating body formulation, and suddenly you have a memory. Say to me, memory. memory. Here at Wisconsin, suddenly, as I'm here with you in this group now, and you're all laughing with me a little bit, I'm going to offer you my certainty that it's possible from a scientific idea to regenerate my stem cell. Will you listen with me? Listen. All of a sudden, we're going to be here. And we're going to talk about the idea of the possibility of the regeneration of our stem cells. Come on with me. Come here. This is, this is what could be termed 
a new place. Or it could be termed an old place. 